from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. For the start of the long Easter holiday weekend, health and government officials will be paying close attention to the coronavirus numbers for the country. They've been increasing recently, and there's concern that some areas could be on the verge of a third wave. One of the biggest concerns, large social gatherings. Police Commissioner Roll says they'll be using extra officers over the weekend to try and control that. We'll be out onto the beaches and uh, in the community, and I want to also encourage persons to abide by the, the rules. That way we don't have to uh, force that and enforce it. Uh, we want people to be able to enjoy themselves on the beaches and uh, just simply abide by the rules. The commission also confirming that an unconfirmed number of persons were cited by police for various infractions stemming from that large cabbage beach gathering from last weekend. Health officials reporting another 22 confirmed cases for Tuesday spread over four islands, 14 of them in the capital. Cases also reported in Grand Bahama, Bimini, and Abaco. No other deaths have been reported. That total remains at 188, but hospitalizations continue to creep up now at 35. One person in the ICU heading into the weekend. Health officials watching those numbers closely. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. New travel restrictions announced for Luther and Harbor Island last night by the office of the Prime Minister. Effective today, anyone there over 10 years old who want to go to other parts of the country will be required to take a test to get a travel visa and then take a test five days after they get where they're going. The new restrictions do not apply to travel between Luther, Harbor Island and surrounding Keys. China's new ambassador to the Bahamas is now in place. She says she wants to focus on several key areas, including encouraging more Chinese travel to the region. A man and a woman in hospital in Grand Bahama after they were shot while in their car in the Freeport area Tuesday night. Police there looking into the circumstances, both in serious but stable condition at last report. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. A frontal system moving through the area. There is associated weather. Mostly cloudy tonight. Showers around. Overnight lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. 64 at Freeport. 68 in the capital. 76 at Matthew Town. Marine advisories in place. Winds increasing to 25 knots behind the front. The sea's up to 8 feet over open waters. There's a low tide now. The next high around midnight. Friday's forecast, mostly cloudy and cooler. Highs from the mid-70s to low 80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World news headlines, not a happy Easter in parts of Europe where the coronavirus continues to spread. France is now into a three-week countrywide lockdown to try and slow increasing cases there. There is concern that the U.S. may be facing another surge in cases despite their massive vaccination effort. Top health official Dr. Fauci warning that they could be facing a major problem down the road because some states may have relaxed restrictions too much and too soon. Another gun violence act in the U.S. Four persons, including a child, are dead. Another in hospital in critical condition after a gunman opened fire at an office building in Southern California. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's a lot on TV, including the start of the Major League Baseball season. Just about all the teams are playing today. Jazz on the Marlins opening at home against the Rays. There's NBA basketball, some golf, and soccer on TV also. The Tribune Sports will have complete coverage of the holiday weekend sports events when it returns to the streets on Tuesday. 
for all of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the weekend's top stories will be in the Tribune newspaper back on the streets Tuesday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com.